guys what is going on we're finally back with another video today we're going to be talking about something real simple and it's the air chuck um, at one time or another we've all ran into this problem we go to use the air chuck and it starts leaking out of one end uh, for most people they think they just need a new air chuck uh, but i'm going to show you a quick and easy fix on how to get this repaired and not have to replace it so let's get to the simple details of the functions of the air chuck and how it works so basically i mean you hook up your air you can inflate a tire either and we're just using a standard straight locking air chuck what makes this locking are the threads inside there i don't know if you can see it that's what actually locks onto a valve stem a lot of you have asked me how do i get it to stick on and you have to get a locking air chuck like that what will happen is there's an actual um kind of flat grommet washer inside there that goes bad and that's what actually makes it leak there's a kit here that you can buy I'll leave a link to that and it's a repair kit so in a way this is about say seven to ten dollars for an air chuck and what goes bad you can buy in a kit that runs about maybe three dollars to repair it and that's all that goes bad in the um, in an air chuck, unless you break something off or break it in half. But it's a real simple fix. So see these notches here in the top? Just take a screwdriver, and you can unscrew it. That's the first part. Right here, this is the threaded part that actually locks on to an air chuck. The other part you'll see the flat washer hopefully you can see it there flat rubber washer and then um, kind of that center piece and i have a pick here just going to go in there pull that washer out oh that other piece fell out but here's the washer and then here can't hardly hold on to it is that uh center piece as you can see in the air chuck, there's nothing else. That's it. In this kit, you'll get all three parts. The locking outer part. The rubber washer, flat washer. And then you'll get this center piece here. It's real simple. There's usually two in a kit. Um, I just usually replace um, whatever side is acting up at the time so this time it's just this one here it's real simple you stick that centerpiece in first just like that then you're gonna take your washer right up on top just push it in where it's flat like that and then you're gonna take this and screw in there now sometimes, because these are different manufacturers, sometimes these will be a little bit longer or shorter. So here, just screw it in just like that. Now, you see there's a little gap there. That's not gonna matter. Um, these are different manufacturers, different uh, size washers. They're, they're basically all supposed to be the same, but as you can see, it's not. But that doesn't matter. As you see here, no more air leak. Now the thing is, you have to get the right kit as well. As you can see that, there's a solid tip on that. And I have another air chuck here. So you can see there's a hole in there that's called a flow through air chuck um, they sell this kit as well uh, this would be for an air chuck that you have kind of on a uh, whip hose with a uh, trigger on it or when you hit the trigger it lets the air through this one here um, doesn't have that so you got to make sure you get the right one also what you got to make sure is this is threaded on the inside to lock onto the air chuck similar I mean a uh, lock onto the valve stem so you put the valve stem on it's on it doesn't come off is that you see 
this one is a smoothie one. They also make it for the straight air chuck, but what happened there is when you put it on, it comes right off, it doesn't lock on. So you have to make sure you get the right kit, whether you want a locking kind like this one, and it's not flow through. This is locking with a flow through. See the difference? So you gotta make sure you get the right kit first of all. There's about three different kits. Description, I will leave a link to uh, every air chuck you've seen here, the smoothie, the fittings, the locking straight uh, air chuck, this flow through one, the kits. I'll leave you all a link uh, to Amazon there. And a lot of people have asked me about this um, air coupler here. It's Prevost. And the reason I like that, when your hands are greasy and um, it's hard to pull back that other coupler, this one here just snaps in and then there's a button here, releases. So I'll leave you a link to that one. Um, and like always guys, I know it's a short video, but thanks for watching and catch you on the next one.